You know, when it comes to elections, the Committee of 70 doesn't have a dog or a donkey in the fight. But when these guys came to town en masse in 2016, we were fully prepared to take advantage of that opportunity to fulfill our mission of educating voters. We hosted with the University City Science Center a terrific pitch event and trade show for technology folks from around the country who were using technology, apps, the internet, everything in between to find new ways to engage voters. In collaboration with our terrific colleague, David Bradley, uh, we also produced a 20 minute theater production called Voices of Voting and showed that to over 2000 high school students from around the region that gave them a sense of how important young voices were to securing the right to vote in the turmoil of the 50s and 60s. Finally, let's go pay a visit to one of my dear friends and a great citizen, not only of Philadelphia, but of the world. Let's go. I want to close with a little reflection with one of my great friends, Ben Franklin. He doesn't talk much, but he's been a presence in the office at the Committee of 70 for my entire tenure. He's got a mean day glow outfit, which in and of itself reminds me of the energy that he brought to so much of Philadelphia uh, as an entrepreneur, but as an architect of, of our democracy. And Ben, I think, stood for, in, in a way that only he could, a lot of the things that we care about at the Committee 70, a sense of continuous improvement, a sense of individual responsibility, a sense of entrepreneurship and innovation. So he's a good guy to have around. He also, though, in one of his well-known sayings, statements, uh, was captured on the way out of the Constitutional Convention on September 17th, saying something quite challenging, which is when asked whether uh, he and his colleagues had created a monarchy or a republic, his answer was, in a very challenging and sobering way, he said, it's a republic if we can keep it. And that to me is part of the central role that the Committee of 70 plays here as a champion of local democracy in Philadelphia and Pennsylvania to do everything we can day in and day out to make sure that we keep this republic that Ben and others created. It's been a real honor and privilege to serve the Committee of 70 and the people of the Commonwealth over these last seven years. And I wanna convey my great and heartfelt thanks to our board leadership, particularly our current chair, Mike Stiles and also to our amazing small but mighty staff at the Committee of 70, who over the last few years have literally left everything on the field to serve the electoral process and the people of Pennsylvania. On behalf of the Committee of 70, I also wanna offer a special thanks to the participants in tonight's program, beginning with our great friend, Michael Spurkanish, who showed once again why he is such a gift to this city, this region, and to the nation. I'd also like to thank Kristen Soldis Anderson, Representative Jim Clyburn, and Judy Woodruff, who have helped us wrap our heads around some of the most challenging issues that we have to face as a nation, as, as Pennsylvanians, and that's the future of our political process and the future of our political parties. But as they say, sometimes when one door closes, another door opens. And now it's time for me to take the opportunity to walk through that open door invoking the spirit of Ben Franklin, uh, who I think encouraged all of us uh, to take advantages of new opportunities and new possibilities in our lives and our careers. So thank you to all of you, and I hope you'll be with us uh, in the Committee of 70, as I will be uh, in spirit and in action over the years to come. <music>